Santo, yep. bro, you were talking about the Egyptian diet. And you mentioned how they were basically a vegetarian uh, society. What was that green that they were consuming most often? Wheat grass. That's the other thing it's good for. If it's not sprouted, if you're eating pasta, for instance, you're eating dead grain. It's dead. Mm. There's no life in grains. Mm. Unless it's sprouted and it becomes green. Mm. Because now the sun has put its vitamins in there and you're eating those fresh sprouts. Wow. The wheat grass is in the power shake. And you're drinking that right now. Yeah, it's like nuts. If you don't soak your nuts before you eat them, you're only getting 10% of the value of the nut. All the rest mm -hmm. goes through the toilet. So when you sprout almonds, all nuts, whatever, you're getting pretty much 90%. Because right. they're nuts, well, they're seeds, right? So when they fall to the ground, dry, they dry up, and then rain comes, and they start growing with the water. So we've got these dry dry almonds everyone's got almonds and walnuts in their home right and then they grab they grab a whole bunch and eat them well they're just clogging up their digestion because they, the nuts are dead you've got to bring them back to life with water love it the water brings them back to life it's successful people guys if you want to go vegan in all things in life successful people don't just do certain things they do things a certain way so it's not just going vegan it's not just having fruits and vegetables. It's having fruits and vegetables a certain way.